Shaq still thinks he got robbed twice of the NBA MVP by Steve Nash. Shaq was so upset that he had therapy with Dr. Ernie Johnson. What seems to be your uh, your overriding concern today? What is your issue? What would you like to get off your chest? It was this little good-looking David Beckham little guy running around like a gnat, just passing the ball to people and doing this and doing that. He scored every now and then, but... Oh, he would always beat me out in the MVP voting. And I'm averaging 28-15 without the free throws. In the 2004-2005 NBA season, Steve Nash, the dynamic point guard from the Dallas Mavericks, was traded to the struggling Phoenix Suns. Just to make it clear to you guys, these were the Phoenix Suns before everything. Before they became Lucas children, Nash achieved an extraordinary feat by clinching the MVP award, despite facing stiff competition from Shaquille O'Neal. This was the first time quote-unquote Shaq was robbed of the MVP. Steve Nash's arrival at the Phoenix Suns in July 2004 sparked a remarkable transformation for the team, propelling them from a 29-53 record to an impressive 62-win season, making the Suns the top team in the Western Conference. He served as the anchor to head coach Mike D'Antoni's run and gun offense. The idea was to push the ball down the court and get a shot up within the first seven seconds of the shot clock, making the team really fun to watch. He was the system. I'm not a system player, I am a system. Nash was averaging 15.5 points and had a league leading 11.5 assists per game. His leadership and on-court wizardry played a pivotal role in the Suns' resurgence, earning him the MVP honor over O'Neal's formidable performance with the Miami Heat, averaging 22.9 points, 10.4 rebounds, 2.7 assists, and 2.3 blocks per game. But why Nash over Shaq even if his resume looks better? That's because the NBA MVP award is decided by votes of the NBA's assigned voting panel, which consists of 100 voters, which includes the sports writers and broadcasters. No podcasters weren't allowed though. Each first place vote is worth 10 points. Each second place vote is worth seven. Each third place vote is worth five. Fourth place is worth three. And fifth place is worth one. Steve got 1,066 points over Shaq's 1,032 points in votes in total. This was the closest that Shaq was winning the MVP award. The typical underdog story and Nash's transformative impact on the Suns' success resonated strongly with the voters. And this was the only time Shaq was this close to winning the MVP over Nash. The second time quote-unquote Shaq got robbed of the MVP, according to him, was the following season, 2005-2006. O'Neal's frustration extended to Nash securing a second MVP award, despite strong competition from players like LeBron James, Dirk, and Kobe. But no Shaq on the list? Now Shaq must be smoking here. Anyway, LeBron, who did less flopping back in the day, and more hair was a strong candidate for the MVP. He was averaging a monster 31.4 points per game, 7.1 rebounds per game, 6.6 .6 assists per game. Dirk with 26 and nine, even Kobe was in fourth place averaging 35 points a game, carrying the whole Lakers team with a promising Kwame Brown. I asked my accountant about that. Compared to Nash's measly 18 and 11. So what's up with Nash? Is it the silky wavy hair? That's because he led the team without Stoudemire, his go-to finisher, and he only had Sean Marion, the guy who is still confused between a jump shot and a chest pass. And having Boris Diaw, Mr. 11-inch vertical, as his third option leading the team still to a 54-28 record in the West. Uh, I'm fine in the West. Wait a minute! Bruh. That's right, he's fine with the West. Nash's response to Shaq accusing him of stealing his MVPs? He got to make free throws first. 